Hi guys and welcome back to another video. We're in the Gillets area, Shung near Shungweni. Yeah, Gilchrist, Shungweni. And today we're trying one of the most recommended and highly rated Indian restaurants. It's called Gate of India. Of India. Gate of India, authentic Punjab food. So we're looking forward to it. And we're going to show you what the vibes is like. And this is the first time we're eating Punjab food. Yeah, so. so Punjabi or? Uh, that's called Punjabi, yes. Punjab. We are from Punjab. Punjab. Okay. I'm from Warsaw, Punjab. So. Okay. Oh, from near Amritsar? Uh, yes, like uh, I'm very near to Amritsar, like one and a half in our way. Okay. This is without a doubt our favorite drink to go with any Indian food. Mixed pakora. We're gonna get in and tell you what we're eating. This is our starter. It smells divine. I can just get the spices. So first up. Oh my gosh. Dipped in some sauce. Mm. This is a popular street food in India. Not many people do eat the street food, so you get to try a restaurant quality version. This is Brinja. The Brinja. Mm. It's good to show you what this is like. Mm. This is a potato, pakora. Similar to a potato budget yeah, with what we know it as. No, spices, spices are different. different yeah. oh. So this is really, really tasty. This is the eating. Mm. Mm. That's my favorite. I never had a chicken with that kind of this kind of a butter. Wow. Aubergine, brinjal, pasty. So fancy, all the It's a lack of the drug, yes. This is paneer. But it feels like the one I had was chicken. Like, we're gonna confirm. This mint duck. Really good. So, as we've mentioned, we've had a mixture of South and North at Palki. So, this is mostly North Indian, but a Punjabi people. Yes. Um, a spoiler alert. <laughs> There's no meat in there. Exactly. It's vegetarian. Exactly. I knew that. It's paneer. But it was so good. Okay, so <laughs> let me rephrase. Chicken was not my favorite. Apparently, it was paneer. <laughs> really tasty. Mm. We'll keep it rolling and you'll get to see what's happening. We ordered quite a bit of dishes. We ordered one vegetarian. 
one chicken and one um, lamb. Yeah, so we are we'll, eating. Too. Yeah, we'll keep it going. You know? I'm being tortured by the smell of food. So here we have a lamb biryani, Punjabi style. Tandoori chicken, lecha paratha, and this is it's paneer tikka masala, served with rice, and the condiments are here, raita. Are you ready? Are we at a loss for words? I'm just eating no. in <laughs> <laughs> Not waiting for anyone. Not though. waiting. I'm doing the paneer tikka masala first. Honestly speaking, I think if I lived in India, I could become a vegetarian. Yeah, the variety is un like unlimited. I would say paneer is no. I've never seen lecha paratha. I'm just going to show it to you now. What's this? Mm. First time. Mm. Is it? Tenduri chicken. Moist. Grilled. Grilled. Extra spicy. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the paneer masala is served with rice, which you need to taste, by the way. You've got to taste more than just... Um, <clears throat> this comes with, with the man. I've got a um, party of flavor going on in my mouth. I just tasted the tandoori chicken, <clears throat> which he had a extra hot. Really good if you like spicy chicken. It's like not this overpowering burn, yeah, but a very flavorful adventure. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, mm. I'm enjoying the fish salad there. Oh, what a taste of salad! Oh. And this is raita. It cools down any but, you're finding a dish too hot for you. What's me? I'm gonna have to ditch my tandoori chicken. Because there's other food on the table. Paneer no, has sweet no, flavor. But it may be because I took it medium spice. But it is really flavorful. Mm. This is one of the best paneer tikka masala I've tasted. I can just taste the jeera. Mixed up. Yam biryani. So this can help this. Yeah. Biryani is moist, not dry. Very flavorful. Totally different from the, mm. the normal North Indian Burman that you get. Very tasty. Did. The lamb tastes like it was marinated in something special. Uh. The meat is like soaked up a whole lot of flavor in it. So every bite is a new experience. There's also some onion in there. That fried onion. Yeah. So we're gonna finish up whatever we can. Maybe get some dessert. Yeah. And we'll touch base with our favorites. And we're also going to order the the most popular dish from this restaurant, which is butter chicken. We're gonna eat that later. So we'll catch up with you then. And to end part one of our Gates of India experience. We've got warm here.
freshly prepared. So let's dig in. I love you, spicy love. What more could you ask for? It's safe to say that this is the first time we've tasted kale like this. Yeah, first time. But kale. Similarity of the four version. Mm -hmm. If I had to put this in the market, we would have it up with some Indian smoke. I think it would be similar to the coal here that it must. No, this is very nice. Guys, we're going to do this takeaway. But it really is after a party in the end, perfect end. I can actually feel everything calming down in my tummy. It's like putting my tummy to bed and saying, well done, you know, good job. And giving it a warm hug. And I just put into the lachi. <laughs> and I'm keeping a straight face. <laughs> So welcome back to part two. It's later on, you're hearing the sounds of nature. Yeah, I can hear the crickets and so on. And what about the smell that's in front of you? Mm -hmm. You know what, guys? We have the legendary butter chicken. Ooh, look at that. From Gates of India. Mm. From Gates of India, so. We're gonna dig into it and we'll tell you what it's all about. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, just and by the smell alone. This was, it took spicy. Mm. Yeah, spicy is not as hot. So you're safe to take spicy. Mm. Depends on how much you can handle. Yeah. So flavorful. Oh my God. This is really tasty. Wow. I can see why everybody rates this as the uh, their first option when they go there. Paneer. Paneer and that uh, tandoori chicken was also very tasty. But that paneer was unique. Apparently they make it on like from uh, mm -hmm. scratch on their own. So it's their own signature way of making it. Absolutely divine. I also really liked the paneer, but a very close second is the butter chicken. It's a really, I, I can't explain. The lamb biryani, when I tasted it, absolutely delicious. Just that I feel that like the meat pieces are a bit too small in it. Maybe it's that the style that the Punjabi people make uh, biryani. I cannot criticize that, I don't know myself, but we're so used to having a like chunky meat. But that was... It's also very marinated. Yeah. So it was breaking apart quite easily. Soft and very tender. Tasty yeah. Yeah, my first Punjabi experience was 10 out of 10. Yeah, seriously. Well, there was, there was not a lot of people in the restaurant. We probably were the only ones there because we went They do early. get busy for supper. Supper, yeah. We were early. But the uh, attention to detail, the aesthetics of that restaurant is actually uh, really amazing. But we just want to add the reason why we go at odd times to um, restaurants and stuff like that. So it's in between lunch and supper is because we'd like to form the setting and it's very difficult when it's full. Yeah, and it's, there's a lot of people don't want to be on camera and all of that. Yeah, and then it, it raises a whole lot of other issues. The thing is we're stressing. This is a Punjabi restaurant. It's Indian food. It's not South African Indian curries. There's a very big difference between South African Indian curries and curries from India. And you'll know that if you do visit the country. So far from my research, a lot of uh, Durbanites have been going to this restaurant to eat mutton bunny. And a beans bunny. Or a lamb bunny and a beans bunny. I can tell you this from the taste of the curries.
It's not this what is they not a, a this is not a Durban curry. No. So guys, if you're going there for a Punjabi experience, experience it in, you know, in for what it is. Do not take our gardens, our. That's where you need to go if you want <laughs> yeah. to buy. Gardens, 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 Hollywood, of House of Curry, Britannia, Hollywood. That you name the places. The places that are a top for bunnies, you go there and you enjoy your bunny. But if you want a taste of Punjabi Sorry, food, I can't stop eating. you go to Gate of India. Their food is really uh, delicious, flavorful, uh, not too spicy, and you know what? Uh, it was absolutely incredible. So if you're wondering where we are, we're actually on a staycation in the Shongweni area, which is close to Gate of India. Those videos are coming up. But thank you guys for watching this. We hope you enjoyed the experience with us. We're just going to smash this now. I'm and we'll finish done. it off. Done. It's over. Until the next one. Bye-bye. And don't forget to smash that like button.